Hey guys, it's Bang from Up PC Gamer here. As you already know, Nvidia has been dominating the headlines with the impending launch of their next generation GPU. And I have to say, um, things are shaping up pretty nicely. Originally, we thought we were just going to be getting the RTX 2070 and 2080, but it, it does appear they're also going to be releasing uh, the 2080 Ti, which for me personally, definitely is welcome news. So. There's actually been some confirmed, confirmed specs now leaking out, albeit the memory speed. Um, this is all compliments of uh, Ycry video cards, and so shout out to Ycry, been putting in the work. And um, for all we can see now is that the 2080 is going to have 2944 CUDA cores, 256 bus wheel, 256 bit bus. We all kind of knew that was going to be the case. But 285 watt TDP, which kind of shows that. Uh, this architecture is not as efficient as we may have thought, even with the 12 nanometer die shrink. Um, one six pin, one eight pin, so definitely coming more power hungry than the 1080, which only came with a single eight pin. But it does support natively 8K, which is interesting. And um, they've done away with SLI, well, the traditional SLI bridge, and now introduced an MV Link as a two way solution, so that's going to be interesting. There are talks of it being able to finally share memory bandwidth or stack bandwidth so you may be able to buy two eight gigabyte cards and actually be able to share and have a total of 16 gigabytes so that'll be interesting and uh boost clock they're looking at 1710 megahertz so that's probably the the lowest boost clock so we could probably expect close to two gigahertz out of the box so we'll have to see moving on to uh, RTX 2080 Ti, the card I'm definitely interested in trying to get on day one. This has a much, much lower boost clock of 1545 megahertz, but 4352 CUDA cores, which is a nice increase over the GTX 1080 Ti. Again, 352 bit bus, but with a bandwidth of 616 um, gigabits per second, I believe. So that's what we're expecting from the card. That's, that's pretty insane. That's above HBM level so it's really really good amount of bandwidth um, looking at the TDP again 285 watts but with two 8 pins this time so I would imagine depending on what solution you buy and in the aftermarket you'll definitely exceed 200 or 300 watts in power draw if you just especially if you overclock this thing so I'm looking forward to seeing how powerful this thing is hopefully it will be around maybe 30% faster than Titan V, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, there is a price holder, a placeholder in terms of price. We're looking at around 1000 for the 1080 Ti, sorry, the RTX 2080 Ti. And we're looking at about 800 for the RTX 2080. Again, these are just placeholders. More than likely, the RTX uh, 2080 will be around 650 US dollars and the uh, 2080 Ti will be around 800 to 850 possibly. Hopefully it will be about that much. And if so, I'll definitely be trying to get one day one. So more information will be coming out Monday. So there's been a lot of um, leaks of other aftermarket coolers as well and companies like Zotac, they've come with their AMP series. So looking at the MSI GeForce 2080 Ti Trio, which is probably the one I'll get if they have this on day one, I'm willing to buy it. I like this one, this looks pretty good. And I like MSI, I had a, my last GTX 1080 Ti was an MSI, decent warranty, so um, I'll definitely buy MSI again. But I'm not opposed to getting a, an ASUS Strix as well, so we'll have to see what the pricing is in the UK. But very, very excited for more information, very, very excited for the card. Um, definitely looking to get one on day one, so you guys stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think of the announcement, you f did you expect the RTX 2080 Ti to be launched alongside the RTX 2080 and 2070 and how much do you think it's going to cost and what kind of performance can we expect in your estimation? I believe anywhere between 25 and 30 percent faster than the Titan V for the 2080 Ti and the 2080 being maybe 7 to 10 percent faster than the Ti, the Ti of the, of the 1080 so we'll see if that pans out but you never know with this new architecture we may see even further boosts in performance let's hope that's the case
Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Woo!